Hey, are you wondering what's this GoPro setting called Field of View or FOV and how to set it, right? Well, in short, Field of View is a setting that determines the amount of visible area captured throughout your lens, your camera lens. And in this video, you'll discover how to set up Field of View on your GoPro and how to use the various FOV options on your GoPro. Are you ready? Hey, I'm Andy, filmmaker and author of Project GoPro, a GoPro video making school. On the site, which you'll find the link in the description, you can find dozens of free tutorials that will help you get started with GoPro. So go check it out. I've also left a link down in the description to download my free GoPro settings cheat sheet that has already helped thousands of GoPro enthusiasts learn how to set up their GoPro before every shooting. So go and check it out. But now, without any further ado, let's get started. So we have said that GoPro Field of View is a setting that determines the amount of visible area captured through your camera lens, right? So regardless of the GoPro model, um, there are five GoPro FOV options in total. The Super View FOV and the Ultra Wide FOV with a fisheye effect um, then we've got the medium FOV in all their GoPro models, the linear FOV and the narrow FOV. Now, on any camera model, you might only get three or four FOV modes, like we, we can see here on this GoPro Hero 8, there are four. Um, let's take a look at them closely. Here you can see all FOV options from a GoPro Hero 8. We can see that this model has narrow, linear, wide, and super view. Then of course it depends on uh, what resolution and frame rate you select. So you might have dif different options depending on what GoPro settings you select. Now, simply put, super view FOV captures the largest amount of space uh, while narrow FOV captures the least amount of space. And here you can see how different the view angle is. Super view field of view. The super view field of view captures the widest angle. As mentioned before, it's probably 170 degrees, uh, providing an action sport look. I would recommend to use super view for cycling, for mountain biking, motorcycle riding, motocross or any sport alike that you need to see a lot of things around you. Be aware that this mode has a relatively strong distortion. I love this angle also for indoor using, um, like if you want to show around a house or even to film in a small place with ease. Wide field of view. The wide FOV is great for both general use and action. I would recommend to use wide FOV for shooting travel, cycling, mountain biking, hiking, drones, skiing, snowboarding, underwater activities and any fast action scenes really. Combine the wide FOV with a high frame rate setting like, like 120 FPS and you will turn your fast action scene into a cinematic masterpiece. Bear in mind that wide FOV will produce a slightly distorted image with a fisheye look, which you can then fix it in post-production if you don't like the fisheye look. Linear FOV. The linear FOV is great for non-action shots, as it is more closely, uh, it's, it's closer to, to a DSLR footage look. I would recommend linear FOV for vlogs, travel, and some drone shots. However, linear FOV is, is not available in all video sizes and frame rates. That's because the software processing has to cannibalize information around the edges of the frame. This option also varies by the camera model. Narrow FOV. Narrow FOV is the narrower um, field of view that we get on GoPro cameras. Narrow is usually used for recording content at a distance. Like medium FOV, it also zooms in on the center of your shot. Now, why would you want to change the field of view on your GoPro, you might ask. So changing the field of view affects not only the viewing angle, determining what makes it into your shots, but the look and feel of your image that could vary from action sport look versus standard DSLR look. Now, let's take a look how you can switch FOV setting on the GoPro. 
how to change the GoPro field of view. Now in this example, I'm gonna show you how to change the GoPro field of view options uh, on a GoPro Hero 8 that I've got it here. It's quite simple, just tap on the um, custom setting. Uh, you want to go inside the setting menu and tap on lens. You'll see that the second option is lens. Tap here and simply you can switch between uh, narrow to linear to wide and super view with, with your finger. It's very, very simple. On other GoPro models, older or newer, it's quite similar. You should find this option on the main menu. How to change GoPro field of view and best FOV settings by activity. So how do you choose FOV? Well, normally if you are planning to shoot in, a, in wide areas, indoor spaces, especially in small rooms, or you know, if you are recording fast action sports, then aim for a wide angle that will also have a fisheye looking effect. These settings can be either super view or wide FOV. If your subject is far from you, medium and narrow FOV are more appropriate, I think. Uh, linear mode is often used in some area drone photography. On the GoPro setting cheat sheet, you'll also find optimal, optimal field of view settings for most filmed GoPro activities, so I'm going to check it out. Uh, you can download it for free in the description below. To conclude, every field of view option is best suitable for a specific activity. So try out different uh, field of view settings in different shooting environments, keep ex experimenting and you will soon realize that, you know, your FOV options is really, really depends on what you're shooting. And that was my GoPro field of view guide. I really hope that you found it useful and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and if you like this video, please like and subscribe as it will help YouTube algorithm show it to other GoPro enthusiasts like you. Stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video.